What is going on everybody? We are back and this time with Spell Damage Mage and I will be completely honest. I kind of wrote Spell ba Damage Mage off because I just didn't think it was going to be that good. It looked like one of those high skill cap decks that everyone's like, oh, if you're just good, it's a good deck like uh, Soul Demon Hunter, um, which I don't really think is that great a deck to be honest. But this deck is a lot of fun. I think you do need a really good in-depth understanding of the deck and I will talk about that when we talk about the deck and the client. But um, this list specifically comes from Bach for Life. If you've been watching the channel for a while, there's a Vectus Mage video that I did. He created that deck and he created the list we're gonna play today. So guys, leave a like and subscribe. I will talk to you all in the clients and take it easy. So this is the list I'm currently running. The main thing we're looking for in the opener is elemental allies because we have so many elementals. We have the Violet Spellwing, we have the Confection Cyclone. I haven't said that word in my vocabulary very often. We also have Imprisoned Phoenix, which kind of makes this deck work. A well-timed Imprisoned Phoenix can really change how this game goes. We have Mana Reservoir. There are, um, and that's it for Elementals. There are some flex spots. It's mainly with the Firebrand and the Arcane Explosion and the Mana Reserve. You can put in Jandis Barov if you want to take one of those out. I might actually for this game. Let's let's see how it goes. We'll move a mana reserve and put in Jandis Barov. You can also take out that Jandis, put in Arcane Explosion, or take out Jandis and put in Astromon Astromancer Solarian. But aside from that, the deck is pretty straightforward. We're looking to control the game in the early, the early game with cards like Brain Freeze and tempo with like lab partner to switch to a more aggressive burn focus at the end with cards like imprisoned phoenix raz frost whisperer and fireballs and frost bolts but the idea with this deck is you really just get down a bunch of spell damage minions with the help of primordial studies which does not the minion the spell damage minion is not even played on the turn you play the studies it, you can wait and get a discount which is really good with phoenix um so we get the spell damage synergies that let us draw a whole bunch of cards with the cram session and we can also draw a whole bunch of cards with elemental allies and then just burn them out at the end so the reason i say that this deck probably does require some skill like knowledge and just practice the deck is because at the most basic level you're just looking to create lethals like at the end with like fireballs and tempo but really what you're trying to do is just figure out how those pieces work together and that can be difficult sometimes Arcane Explosion and Firebrand are in this deck for decks like Aggro Rogues, so like the Stealth Rogues, and Token Druids. So guys, this deck is a lot of fun. Let's see if we can get some games. Knowing how recordings usually go, those games, even though I'm like 9 and 4 right now, 9 and 3, I'm going to end up being like 10, 10 and 10 by the end of this. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes, and I'll see you guys in some games. Take it easy. Against a hunter, we really need to control the board early on. Keeping this. I don't think we're keeping. Let's keep cram session with the primordials. Yeah, let's keep this whole hand. This is a good hand. I really do want the elemental allies, but. That's okay. This is fine, and we have the Wand Thief also. Tour Guide I don't care about. Tour Guide isn't what this is for. Do you ever do that there? Is that the right play? Fireball. Um, we will Primordial Studies. I think we take the one that discovers a dragon. I was hoping that would be Lab, lab uh, Existent. It was not. Okay, so we can just ping that, that's okay. I think we'll coin out the Wand Thief right now just to put something on board and we'll take another Studies. I would really like Arcane Explosion. So that's going to get killed by our brain freeze. 
That's kind of scary. We have Fireball to deal with that. We don't need elements, so we don't need to play allies this turn. So we can do. Let's take the card. Oof, this comes down two turns, too. It's hard for him to deal with. I think we take. Yeah, let's. Mm, This is trading. We're brain freezing this. We're left with one mana. If we're left with one mana, let's take the Thanos. Trade is free, but we're gonna hit this with the brain freeze. We're gonna hit into the 1-1. One, one. Then we're gonna play the Thanos. And then we can also play the allies. And then we can draw two next turn. We can just play the dragon next turn. If he plays a minion we want to kill, we should play the draw brain freeze. So, best case scenario, this is freezing trap. Looks that way. So let's draw, actually, play this first. We have to kill this. That's why we waited till the second, because of pressure plates. Then we will hit face with a pain. Okay. I don't think we're in a stabilized position. I think we're in a better position. Um, next turn, that goes face, right? Like, why would you? I don't think you ping that. I don't think that's the play. So this, did we? We did, okay, so let's play the Mana Reservoir. We'll draw some cards. The Studies is fine. But Studies get apparently this again. I don't care too much about this, but let's send the Arcane. My only thought is next turn is, well, if next turn is um, Dragon's Bane, I want to use this with the Frostbolt. So let's. Okay. And we'll play another Allies. That probably won't be activated for a little bit, but that's fine. We haven't, I don't know if this is Highlander or not yet. I think it is just based on the pressure plates. It's going face, yeah. Okay, there's a bow. So I'm gonna play the Explorer and Freeze Face. So we'll play the Explorer first. Discover a dragon. These are all really bad. <laughs> um, we'll take this. It does deal with things on board. And then we will freeze face for seven. That's going to be... We could have lethal next turn. Could. Probably not. Could. Yep. That's fine. Oh, that's a kill command that's not going face. Love it. So I'm going to play the Firebrand this turn. Draw two. And now let's freeze his face again. Next turn, this will be nine plus six which will be lethal if it can all go face actually i can't play all of this next turn so this is face hunter i don't think highlander hunter runs that it's still scary because we do need to close this game out sooner rather than later imprison phoenix is a little slow so let's discover a dragon 
Sarah can come down next turn and save us if we absolutely need it. Let's see, four, seven, eight. This needs to die because it could be King Crush. I don't think this is face as Highlander Hunter, but if it is, this is perfect. This needs this needs to not be on board if that's the case. So I don't need to play. I don't need to attack because the fireball will kill them next turn. I don't think this card is King Crush. I think this is a Dragon's Bane. But it could be a King Crush. It is Dragon's Bane. Okay. I was right about that. The Toxic Reinforcements and Pressure Plate kind of led me to that conclusion. Okay. So we are at four. This is dealing seven. I'm going to send the Wand Maker in first. It's Freezing Trap, that's fine. Just in case it was Explosive Trap. And that's the Fireball. Got him. That was smooth, I like that a lot. Against a Rogue, Battle Pants. Against a Rogue, we need... This is good to have. Cram sessions are not so much, so let's send the cram sessions back. We're looking for like Firebrand and Arcane Explosion. There's the Firebrand. This will also give us a spell to use with the Firebrand. Phoenix is also really good. Okay. Really wish we had allies, especially if we had allies one. And we also want to find. We want to find the um, coin. Coin swindle. So I don't know what this is yet. This could be miracle or combo. Could not be. That was a weird play. Uh, I, pro I think I played that Phoenix a bit too quickly. That Phoenix... Yeah, so... Probably should have waited a turn to play that Phoenix. Brain Freeze is good. So, we weird play, right? We're gonna... We don't need to attack. I mean, we can... I mean, we are attacking. I was thinking we can ping off the 1-1. One -one and get this Firebrand set up, but it's going to die in some capacity next turn. This deck doesn't run Silence, so we're always getting Firebrand to have a Spell Burst next turn. And Firebrand will clear this perfectly, which is nice. In fact, we might not even need the Firebrand to do this, right? So we can just play it for five. I mean, it'll just deal five damage overall. And we can just ping Wand Thief. These aren't that good. I think Vaporize is the best just to protect for some face damage from a minion. So the only way this dies is with a deadly poison, which, I mean, he has ten cards in his hand. It's pretty likely that he has one possible. But this is the delinquent right here. Eviscerate, actually there's a lot that kills this. Eviscerate kills this too. I wouldn't be surprised if... Yeah, that's the eviscerate, okay. That's an eviscerate that's not going face though. So, I'll take that. I'm going to save this firebrand again. I think what we're doing is we're just going to play the vaporize and hit him in the face we can take this pretty somewhat slow we have nine damage from hand the vapor the idea the hope is that they go okay firebrand kills this yep 
There's the vaporize. That's good. Firebrand clears this and freezes face, so weapon can't be attacked with next turn if they get one. We'll hold on to the cram session for one turn. Just in the hopes that we get one, get a spell damage mini, but if we don't, we'll just play it for draw one anyways. And we have 10 on board right now. We can brain freeze that. Hook Scimitar can attack this turn. Still can attack this turn. No matter how many poisons you put on it, it can attack this turn. Which is great. Okay, explosion would be great. That's gonna get nitro boosted. Sinister strike. We're gonna take some damage next turn if we can't freeze their face again. So let's start with the cram session, even though we don't have a spell damage minion. It's not what we're looking for. We are always killing this, so let's kill that. Let's draw again with the cram session. There's an arcane explosion. I'm gonna play this now to deny him a nitro boost poison. That said, we're four off right now. And our hand doesn't do a ton to deal four damage. And we're gonna take some damage. Unfortunately. What's the best top deck? Frostbolt. Frostbolt is the best top deck right now. Um, and that's it. Like Frostbolt, we need the Frostbolt. Jandis could be good if Jandis gives us. That's gonna be some damage. Jandis gives us a taunt, that's good. Deckhand, that's gonna be a nitro boost on the deckhand, I'm guessing. Sinister Strike, nope. Okay. So we're taking some damage. We are at eight actually, so we need to kill them this next turn. If we can't kill them this next turn, we lose. We need to find four damage. We need to find another fireball. Fireball is actually an out. Um, Frostbolt probably doesn't get us there now because of what's in their hand. It's a Frostbolt card. Three, four, ten. Actually, no. This is lethal. Frostbolt is actually is actually lethal. <sighs> that was scary. <laughs> That was really scary. That's exact. Whew. Whew. We'll take it, though. Every day of the week. 